Hey, at the heart of any good project is a good GitHub repo. And at the heart of a good GitHub repo is a good README. So today we're going to look at uh, uh, some tricks for how you can use GitHub to host the images that you uh, put in your README. And this is great for posting screenshots or any other kind of uh, visual documentation uh, that you might ha want to have in one place for everybody on your project to be able to easily access. So let's start by creating a new repository. We're just going to call it Images in README. And uh, I've set it to public and added a description. And I click the little checkbox that says initialize this repository with a README. I've created the repository. And here we can see it's automatically generated uh, a README using some of the information that I just provided. But uh, we could do a little bit better than this. Um, let's look at how we can edit the README file right here in GitHub, right? Without having to do a, a clone and a pull request or whatever. If you've got the, the rights to do this, um, you can edit files directly. So clicking the little pencil takes us into this editor and it gives us a little preview window. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, it's written in Markdown, right? Not Markup, but Markdown. It's like a simplified version of HTML that kind of just looks like text. So like uh, there's little tricks um, for like headings uh, of different sizes uh, that you can uh, preview directly right here. So you can see kind of there's a difference in size here. Great. Um, but what happens if we want to add uh, an image to the readme? Um, we can't uh, drag and drop images here so um, we have to host them ourselves and sort of know the right URL for it and the format in markdown to make to add it to this page and it's kind of a hassle um, so a lot of people might not do it um, but we've got a sort of sneaky trick that we can do so let's go to um, issues and we'll we'll just abandon our changes and let's create a new issue and we'll notice that because we have Zen Hub, we get this little thing where, that lets us drag and drop issues. So um, let's call this issue, I need a screenshot. And let's uh, grab a screenshot here and uh, drop it in. Now notice it says uploading screenshot, but in just a moment, depending on your bandwidth and uh, the size of the image, of course, it'll sort of render it into this um, markup format if we or markdown format. And if we look in um, preview, we can see, oh, it looks just the way we want it to look. And clicking on it um, takes us to a full-sized version of the image. That's pretty cool. So um, we want to um, do that in our readme. Let's copy this link and uh, go back to the top of the readme and uh, and edit it and pop that code in and see what happens. Whoa, check it out. It's stored, even though I didn't save the issue, it stored the image. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, commit the changes. Notice it's already got a kind of a default update the readme uh, and we'll say added a screenshot. And uh, in this case, we'll commit directly to the master branch, but you could um, create a pull request from this if you want to sort of, you know, uh, observe those practices within your project. So now that we've committed the changes and we come back to the top level of the project, uh, wow, we've got a screenshot that we just dragged and dropped. Pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, Check back here in this space for more GitHub tips and tricks soon. Thanks.